While the C8Z06 may be dominating headlines at the moment, Chevrolet's confirmation of what many had assumed to be merely rumors and suppositions suggests that there may be yet another newcomer on the block. In case you weren't aware, Chevrolet will soon release hybrid and electric versions of the Corvette, one of which has been making the rounds in the media under the name Corvette C8 E-Ray for some time. You definitely don't want to miss today's video because it contains some absolutely incredible information about the upcoming release as well as what to anticipate in terms of price and availability. So keep watching until the very end. Even though the supercar hasn't been given a release date, the Chevy C806 has been one of the top choices of many Chevrolet fans since the year began. The mid-engine supercar has been predicted to be one of the best vehicles, possibly even able to compete with vehicles made by Ferrari. And if you love Chevrolet and have been waiting for something in that price range from them, the Z06 will undoubtedly fulfill your expectations. Everything about the Z06 just quite represents the level of quality that many fans of supercars are looking for. From performance to the exterior and interior options, brakes, engines, and even colors. While it is still uncertain whether the vehicle will be released for the 2023 model year, General Motors seems to be making a splash by announcing that it will be known as the C8 E-Ray. It really comes as no surprise that Chevrolet decided to release an all-electric and hybrid version of their mid-engine supercar, which has been in the news a lot lately, given how quickly technology is progressing. When rumors first started to circulate that Chevrolet was considering releasing something that could compete in that category, like some of the top car brands in the industry, news of the improved technology to be added to the Chevrolet cars first came around late 2021. General Motors didn't confirm the reports or offer any additional information, so they remain just that. Rumors and many supporters still hold out hope that Chevrolet will do something in that direction. It's taken a while but the E-Ray has finally been confirmed, and it's designed to compete with cars from manufacturers like Porsche, Acura, and BMW, all of which have new models in that class. A brief look back will reveal that everything began in 2015 when it was first revealed by GM authorities that General Motors had submitted two applications to the USPTO seeking to register the trademarks Corvette E-Ray and E-Ray. To be more precise, the applications were intended for automobiles. At the time, there was a lot of buzz in the industry about hybrid and electric cars, so it seemed like a fairly obvious sign that they were working on their own version. When General Motors announced that it would produce hybrid and all-electric versions of the Chevrolet Corvette earlier this year, all the rumors were proven to be true. Naturally, one of their most beloved models is the Corvette. So the idea of releasing a new model from that line didn't seem out of the question. While it is still unclear which is which, it is anticipated that the E-Ray car will be the hybrid Corvette and that it will have a few features that are very similar to those created for the Corvette C8. According to GM Authority, the E-Ray is anticipated to be a wide-body, high-performance model that will be positioned to subtly replace the Grand Sport in the Corvette lineup. If you were unaware, the Corvette Grand Sport is also expected to be discontinued from the Corvette C8 model line, and there has been a lot of news about its demise. With that in mind, the Corvette C8 E-Ray will unquestionably take its place in the line. The E-Ray would undoubtedly succeed in the lineup, even though they are not exactly the same. Additionally, a 6.2-liter V8 LT2 gasoline engine, which produces 490 horsepower and is also found in the C8 Stingray, will be used in the car's electrified powertrain. The hybrid system's maximum output is also anticipated to be in the range of 85 kilowatts or 115 horsepower and 111 pound-feet of torque. The E-Ray has also reportedly been rumored to be able to spin up to 16,000 RPM based on looks and performance, though there is no confirmation of what will actually be there. The E-Ray is anticipated to be significantly improved versions of the C8 Stingray, 
placing it squarely between the Stingray and Z06 in terms of quality. In comparison to the Stingray, the E-Ray will have a wider body, an upgraded chassis, and wider wheels and tires. As a result, the E-Ray can have a bigger contact patch on the road. Similar to these other features, it is also anticipated that the brakes will be larger and more powerful than those found in the C8 Stingray. Now, before we go into the most interesting part of this video, please give this a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. Plus, stay tuned until the very end to find out the estimated price of the C8 E-Ray. In general, it is anticipated that Chevrolet will optimize the C8e engine race for greater efficiency, making it one of their truly standout releases. There isn't much information available about the exterior or interior design of the car, despite the fact that the performance features and numbers already look pretty great. The Stingray and the Z06, however, almost make you expect nothing less than the highest quality and something that exudes luxury. In terms of color, the E-Ray would probably keep the colors that Chevrolet used for the Stingray as well as a portion of the fresh colors that have been added to the list of Z06 exclusive colors. The E-Ray was initially expected to debut with the 2023 model year. But as with all the vehicles that have been created to be a part of that lineup for 2023, it has yet to do so. And if that indicates anything at all, we might only have to wait until 2024 to see the E-Ray. Although if General Motors is not attempting to avoid the publicity that the Z06 currently has even without production being in place, a first look for the car could come later this year or at the beginning of 2023. It might be a little difficult to estimate the cost of the E-Ray since there are no official announcements or reports from General Motors. The starting price would undoubtedly be above $60,000 though, and seeing a price of around $75,000 should really not be surprising, especially since the Z06 has been rumored to come with a starting price of $90,000. Several reports, including from GM Authority, have stated that the E-Ray would simply be a shot up from the Stingray. Although there isn't much to say at the moment, you're undoubtedly eager to learn more about the E-Ray's design, its available options, and how you'll go about customizing one. The E-Ray is just one of the vehicles that Chevrolet has planned, and in the upcoming months, we may hear a lot more about Chevy. Will the E-Ray be able to compete with vehicles like the BMW i8 and Acura NSX? We'll want to see, but only time will tell. What do you believe will be the E-Best race features based on what you've already learned about it? Do you believe it will outperform the Stingray? What do you think about electric and hybrid vehicles as well? Please join the community in the comments section below. I'm Fred. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you want to know more about the 2023 Corvette C8 Z06 and its production, then click and watch the next video here.